Are you wanting to buy a used pool table, but you don't know where to start? Well, stick around. Today, I'm going to give my top five used pool tables or pool table brands I recommend if you want a great table that not only will you get enjoyment out of, but you'll be able to pass it on to your kids or grandkids when you're done with it. I'd say most of my customers that call me have either just purchased their first table or they're looking to buy their first table. And 90% of them, they don't know one brand of table from the next. Most of them have heard the name Brunswick at some point. And you know, you'd be surprised how many people just assume that their table is a Brunswick simply because they've never heard of any other brands. Well, I'm here to tell you there are quite a few other brands worth considering. I want to start by saying that some of the brands on my list are companies that have, well, they've gone out of business. And even though they aren't around anymore, they still make great, well-built tables. Now, I chose my tables based on a list of a few criteria. Number one, the table had to be made of solid wood. Number two, the construction methods had to be top-notch. Number three, you had to be pretty likely to find one of these tables in the used market. And finally, number four, price versus durability. Now I realize that there are probably some tables or brands that you would have put on this list that I didn't, but you know, it's all good. We all have our own preferences. So after I give you a rundown on each one of the picks, I'm going to give you an all in price. Now this is the price that should include the purchase price of the table, the cost of having a professional pool table mechanic move that table, new cloth, new rubber, and any other work that may need to get done to get that table back within factory specifications. So, without further ado, let's get into my top five. Coming in at number five is gonna be the Brunswick Contender Series. Brand new, the Contender Series sells for between $2,000 and $3,500. So, when looking at the Contender Series tables, Newer is always going to be better if you want to get your money's worth. This is my bargain tip pick for my top five, and this is the only knockdown table on my list. In other words, the entire frame of the table can be completely disassembled. And this means that it'll be easier to install on some multi-story homes or in basements where a unibody or a factory assembled frame just may not make it through hallways or stairwell bins. These tables can routinely be purchased on the used market for anywhere between about $500 and $1,000. Now, Brunswick used fully lined slate, and they offered a very wide variety of colors and styles. Now, since these are my bargain pick, make sure that the overall finish of the table is either very good or excellent to get your money's worth, because beat up examples are worth considerably less than pristine ones. Now, an all-in, a good all-in price on, the, on these contender tables, and again, this, is in, this includes having it disassembled, moved, reinstalled, recovered, is going to be anything below $2,000. Keep in mind on a used pool table that you won't be paying any sales tax and you won't have to purchase an accessory package since that should be included with the purchase price of the table. And that's a significant savings. My number four pick is going to be Beach Manufacturing Tables. Beach Manufacturing was located in Garden Grove, California, and they did go out of business some time back, but the tables they made were first class. Beach set themselves apart from other manufacturers by building all of their tables with what they called their super frame construction. What this was was two reinforced beams that ran from the head to the foot of the table. Now this, along with the standard two beams from side to side, made their tables built like tanks. Their tables were unibody or solid body construction, which means the entire frame was assembled at the factory prior to shipping and they're not intended to ever come apart. This was done to ensure that the foundation for the slate is as true and flat as possible and that the frame is perfectly square. Their tables were also solid wood construction, and you know, that's a feature that generally commands a premium. 
Back in the 90s, their lowest end tables sold for about $1,800 and their most expensive tables were somewhere around $6,000. Now, that's around $3,000 to $10,000 in today's money. And since they use the same solid construction on all of their tables, you really can't go wrong with any model they made. Naturally, the more ornate or fancy the table is, the more it's sold for new. Plain, square leg tables with no adornment would be at the lower end of the price range and highly carved tables would be at the higher end. Now, an all-in price on the lower end beach tables would be somewhere between $2,000 and $2,500 with more expensive, more ornate tables going for more. Now, Beach was a smaller, much smaller company than, with more limited distribution than some of the others on my list. So, in your particular area of the country, you may not be able to find one for sale. But if you do, they are definitely worth your time and consideration. My number three pick is going to be Olhausen pool tables. Now, for purposes of this list, I won't be including either their laminate series or veneer series tables. And while not every Olhausen table is made out of solid wood, most of them are. So for my pick, it's going to be any tables from their Americana series and up. Overall, Olhausen's tables are well built. They, like beach manufacturing, feature factory pre-fit frame construction. So their frames come as one piece pre-assembled as well. Olhausen does offer special order knockdown versions of their tables too. So if you think installation might be a problem because of a turn in a stairwell or a hallway, then make sure you get a knockdown Olhausen. Otherwise, you may have just bought something you can't have installed where you want. Olhausen tables also use some very good rubber on their rails. Although from time to time I do have to replace the rubber on an Olhausen table, it's far less often than almost every other brand out there. And, you know, quite frankly, it plays great. Less ornate Olhausen tables, again, this is the same as the beach tables mentioned before, sell for significantly less than their elaborate brothers and sisters. So, for the most bang for your buck, try to find fancy Olhausen tables that are selling cheap. But, if all you can find is a plain Jane, solid wood Olhausen, then a reasonable all-in price would be $2,000 or less. And again, mo fancy means mo money. Number two on my list would be Gandhi tables. As with my number three and number four picks, Gandhi tables are also of the unibody design. Most all of their table frames were fully assembled at the factory, just like beach tables and Olhausen tables. One notable exception would be the Gandhi Big G tables. Gandhi is another one of those manufacturers that went out of business some years back. However, they did make exceptionally good tables. About 30 years ago, most of their tables were in the $3,000 to $4,000 range. That would be between $6,000 and $8,000 today, and that puts them on the high end. But that's good news for you today. Most people who haven't shopped for a pool table within the past 20 years have probably never heard of a Gandhi. But that's okay, because sellers often don't remember how much they originally paid for them and that means good deals on a great brand. Again, with the exception of a few parts on their Big G model tables, they were all solid wood. The Big G is a model I'm particularly fond of. You know, it was intended as a, a commercial table in its design, but for some reason it wasn't the choice of pool hall owners. It did, however, achieve limited success in the home market, so there are still quite a few Big G models out there. Gandhi made two basic versions of the Big G, a two-legged version and a four-legged version. Now the four-legged version uses a plywood frame, while the two-legged version uses a much more robust, solid mahogany frame. Both versions are very good tables, however, given my choice, I would choose the two-legged Big G for a couple of hundred dollars more. The Formica veneer on the rails is another thing to look out for on those Big G models. If the Formica veneer is lifting, you can subtract at least $300 to $500 from the sale price. Or 
Just avoid that particular table altogether. For most Gandhi home type furniture tables, a good all-in price would be between $2,500 and $3,000. And for big G models, between $2,000 and $2,500. Okay, now we've made it to my number one choice and that's gonna be the Brunswick Gold Crown 1, 2, and 3. The Brunswick Gold Crown was the successor to Brunswick's anniversary and centennial tables. And like the anniversary and centennials, they are extremely well built. And the frames on these tables are massive. These are tables that from the moment they were first conceived were for serious players. They were built and marketed for 24 hour a day use in pool halls and bowling alleys for decades on end. And now those pool halls and bowling alleys are beginning to replace their older gold crown tables with new diamond tables. You know, a gold crown is a table I would recommend to anyone. Whether you're an avid player or you're just getting into the game, a gold crown is a perfect fit. And now is the perfect time to buy one. You know, in talking with other people who are in the know about pool tables, the general consensus is that these are the collectible tables of tomorrow. Even though it'll cost a little extra to have slate liners replaced and to have chewed up rails repaired, they're still a solid investment. A decent nine foot gold crown can be bought for as little as $800 to $1,000. And you can expect to pay a bit more for an eight foot model since they are a bit more rare. And that mid-century modern design is becoming more and more desirable too. All in on a good condition, gold crown one, two, or three would be between $2,500 and $3,000. However, investing even more to get that table back to like new or close to new condition, you know, that wouldn't be unreasonable either. So that's my top five. Some of you are going to say that I probably should have included diamond tables on my list. Well, while diamond does make a fantastic table, I specifically didn't include them on my list for a few reasons. Number one, they're a relatively new company. They're less than 35 years old. Number two, they're not readily available on the used market. And number three, even when you do find them used, they're generally out of most people's price range. Now, my all-in prices that I gave in my picks that's certainly not the number that you want to shoot for. You want to come in under that number when everything is all said and done. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're looking at a used Olhausen made back in the 1980s. It's rather plain, but it's, it's solid wood and overall it's in very good cosmetic condition. The seller wants $1,000 for it. So you check the rubber and come to find out it needs to be changed. Well, you're looking at a cost of about $500 to have the table moved, new cloth at about $400, and finally new rubber at about $450. The first thing you should do is add up the services. And in this example, it's $1,350. To be at your all-in price of $2,000, you would have to purchase that table for no more than $650. Now, same table. Let's say that the rubber is good and the owner had the table recovered within the past three to five years. His asking price is still the same thousand dollars. Now your only additional expense is having the table moved at that $500 mark. Your all in price now is 1500. Even less if you negotiate with the seller and I would strongly suggest that you negotiate. This leaves you additional money if you're considering changing out the cloth to match the decor of your room. And that's a win-win. Now, these were my picks for top five, and I realized that I didn't pick specific models of tables per se, but I did give you a whole lot of tables to choose from. If you're looking for a decent table, that'll look great and last more than a lifetime. So what are your five top five used tables? Do you have a table that you think should have made it to my list but didn't? Write me a comment down below letting me know what you think. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.